Laughter yoga. Has anyone heard of laughter yoga? A few people. I did a workshop a few years ago with uh, the laughter yoga, and it's based on the premise that I that I said earlier on um, that laughter is actually really, really good for you, and uh, you know that if you laugh, uh, you'll feel better and you will be better. And so people go along to these clubs and they laugh. All right, so I'm actually going to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, just to go along with me, all right? and do a little bit of laugh yoga. Now, I've got two different laughs that I would like you to do. Well, actually, only one laugh that I'd like you to do, but I want the men to do one, and I want the women to do another one, all right? Are you with me? You gonna give it a go? Yeah, yeah all right. So, uh, men, I, I want you to have a go at doing the evil laugh, you know, the snidely whiplash laugh, all right? Are we ready to have a go? Do you want me to demonstrate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right? It's that sort of feeling. All right? So are we ready, man? Are we ready? All right. Okay, so the snipey whiplash laugh. <laughs> Should have given it to the women. <laughs> that might have been a good idea. Now I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it because I think the laugh of the women, all right, it's like, it's the laugh. It's like you poor bloody loser. It's just like, oh, are you joking? Are you joking, laugh? Are you good at that, women, ladies? Are you joking? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's give it a go, ladies. Are you joking? <laughs> Shit, let's find a second. Alright, so men, I'm gonna give you another go. I'm gonna give you another go to laugh like, you know, that, that evil laugh. And uh, I'm gonna give you a little couple of hand instructions with my, my hand, and the women we're gonna do the same, but just men first. Alright, so we're gonna raise and lower the volume. Yeah. And uh, when I do that, we're gonna we're just gonna cut it. So men on the right hand, women on the left hand, so women. Not yet. So men, see, see whether you can pay back, you know, what the women just did with the, um, the evil laugh. We ready? Alright, okay. So we're going to have a little battle here, alright? We're going to have a little battle between the men and the women. All right, so the you joking laugh from the women and the <laughs> from the men. Are we ready? All right, watch the hands, they're low. All right. <laughs>
Yeah, well, I was really, really scared. And, um, and Mr. Lino came up, Peter, I should really call you, <laughs> came up to me and he said, oh, you, you should come out and do a, a tip and bar up front. They do a lot of comedy out there. And I thought, well, maybe I should do this, but I don't know. So I asked my friend, um, Dustin Hoffman, he's a good friend in my head. Um, he, um, I asked him, you know, what's this tip and bar up front thing? He said, yeah, a tip and bar up front is uh, uh, an event that's held the um, second Friday of uh, every uh, Unplugged, but Rouse is on the last Friday of every month. Yeah. 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 247. So I said to him, Do you think the crowd's going to be nice tonight? Yeah, they were all great. Yeah, 257 people. <laughs> Named um, 
uh, Kevin Pollock, he was also an impressionist. And he, um, he was good friends with Christopher Walken, and he and he'd come up to him, and he said, he said, Christopher Walken is so wonderfully weird. Like, he'll talk to him, and he'll come up, the strangest things just come in his head, and he'll say, so what are you doing, Mr. Rickon Frankenstein didn't scare me. My suit will scare me, because they're fast. <laughs> <laughs> And live. 